What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Will. I'm joined, as always, by the lovely, wonderful Miss Erica. Hey. And on today's video, we're playing a, another visual novel, this time courtesy of the SWB media folks, uh, indie devs. Shout out to them. They asked us Woo. to play the game for them. And they have a Kickstarter going on right now that you can yes. check out. Link down in the description below for you guys to check out. This one's called Creature Consorts, and it's about a young witch who mm -hmm. goes to a town uh, known for being inhabited by monsters. She gets a letter. Yeah, she gets a mysterious letter that leads her to this town, and she's gonna run into all these uh, colorful cast of characters. I really like the art style. Yes. It looks like fun, so let's check it out. Yes. Uh, it's no controller on this one, so. Ah. We are mouse and key in it. Whoa. Not too long ago in the mystical land of Canada. Ha. <laughs> Very mystical indeed. Very. Oh. Monsters, cryptids, spirits, and mythical figures of all kinds are hunted by the likes of the Deadbeats. <laughs> Who are the Deadbeats? Is that like I don't know. a word for normies? Maybe. A ruthless gang of mercenaries, though, oh. who would exchange <laughs> countless mystic lives for a bit of coin. Okay. Oh no. They're monster like hunters. Monster hunters, yeah. yeah. Many lives were lost, upended, or forever changed by the actions of these government sanctioned goons. Hmm. However, due to the hard work of our cultural leaders, their actions were finally criminalized. Yay. <laughs> finally, <laughs> mystics of mankind could live in harmony. Mm. It was tough going for a while. I will say it's a little bit hard uh, to read with yeah. this little background here. Yes. I would say, so, so one thing we do a lot is we give our first impressions on the games as we're going along. Uh, that's my first kind of thought yeah. as I'm reading this, so... Maybe they'll change that. Uh, but anyway, it was tough going for a while, but then small pockets of mystic society started springing up and revealing themselves to the rest of the world. One of these pockets is the very own town of Langsden. Okie dokie. Whether traveling for business or for pleasure, the town of Langsden has a little bit of everything for everybody. Even for those who might find themselves lacking a body. Ho ho. Boasting over 100 years of history and a unique coastal landscape, we're sure you'll find a niche for you. This is like a this is like a travel infomercial kind of. Yeah, it's like visit Michigan. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Put some magic in your travel. Visit Langsden. That's got to be the hundredth time that I've heard that spiel on this trip. Maggie, she looks mm. like a uh, a jaded sort of character. Perhaps like a cool, too cool for school. I don't know. Perhaps. They already got me with that cryptic letter. I didn't need the hard sell. Ooh, to the, the letter. esteemed Miss Mayweather. I hope this letter finds you well. Mm. We request your presence in Langston Town Hall. Langston Town Hall, at your nearest convenience, upon the recommendation of one Astrid Mayweather on the topic of potions and incantations. Is that like our grandma or something? <laughs> Perhaps. Uh, please bring along any and all magical equipment and materials they may need for your work. So Astrid must be a witch as well. Potions. The proper. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, that that caught me off guard, uh, off guard a little. I didn't know how to react. Uh, the proper paperwork will have been filed via clairvoyant, and proper accommodations will be made upon your answer. We await your correspondence via Raven. Oh, fun! Sincerely, Langston Township Internal Affairs. This is like, I don't know, like the mayor's office, I guess. Yeah, but like they accept the Thanks. witchy folk, the spook, the spooky people. Alrighty. If mom wanted to get my attention, a text would have done. Oh, mom, not grandma. Oh. Uh, it's not going to be easy living up to whatever standards she's been setting. I'm only a half witch, and she's like the boss witch. Oh. Haha. -ha. A little bit of play on word there, perhaps? Maybe. I'm sure she could do whatever they're looking for better than me. She probably just wanted to piss dad off. What's mom been telling, him about, telling people about my potions? Final stop, Langston Central. Thank the stars. I don't know how many more times I could have listened to that. Hmm. You would think that if the only way into town was an eight-hour train ride, they'd at least record more than a handful of those things. Oh, no. Well, I better go see how Ash is doing back there. Can't have been easy riding with the merch for so long. Maybe I should whip up her, whip her up a treat later. Ooh, who's Ash? Now, where is the cargo car? <laughs> uh, front or back? Front or back? Back. Flip a coin. Back. That way? That wasn't too far. 
Oh, she's like a plant yeah. monster. Cool. Ash? Zzz. Ash. Okay. Here's, here's something fun we can do. Uh-huh. I'll be Maggie, you be Ash. Okay. I'm not a voice actor. I mean, do I sound like a voice actor to you? No, I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a great start. <laughs> Wake up, Ash. Ugh. Here, I was feeling bad for cramming you back here only to find you napping on the job. Calm your broomstick, boss witch. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, I was, was just, fun. oh wait, that's you, sorry. Ugh, oh, stealing my line. Sorry, sorry. I was just feeling the vibes of the track back here. It's not like anything was gonna run off on me. Just vibing. vibing. That's not the point. I told you that there's been reports of deadbeats around here and I don't want them messing with. Where's my mugwort? Guilty. You're the worst familiar ever. Ah, what, I was thirsty. <laughs> it's not like they have beverage. Oh wait, you I saw it again. My I'm lungs. sorry. I'm too eager. You're the worst. Now I can't. Ugh. Go. It's not like they have beverage service in cargo car anyway. Besides, I can't. I heard that breath. In. <laughs> Besides, I can just whip you up some more in a couple hours. I'm sorry. I I read all the lines in the last one we did, pretty much, and we and like you yeah. just kind of gave commentary. So I'm I like, did. I'm used to just like reading, but anyway, sorry. I, I said it click. That's why you picked a wood nymph as your familiar after all. Hmm. Just stay awake for the rest of the trip and start gathering our bags. We'll be there in about Final stop! Langston Center arriving. I'm such a nerd. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I panicked. That's my go to voice. Alright, here we go. <laughs> gotcha, I'll start wrangling up the bags, boss. Don't call me boss. Call me Maggie. Suit yourself, Mags. <laughs> Charming. Just get ready to go, please. All right, Ash shouldn't have any issues checking into the hotel. Let's see. This thing has been acting up all day. Town Hall is... Ooh, a map. South, north, west. Mm, I'm gonna say west. This way. Uh oh. Oops. Can't really go much further this way, can I? Oh no. The dog wants attention. The dog does want attention. Alright, we probably have some animals bop bouncing around in the background. I hope that's not making too much noise or being too distracting. Uh, where could it. Oh, here, you take this. Oh, but the new character. Excuse me, you're in the way, lady. Oh! She's sassy. Huh? Oh! I said, you're in my way, lady. Gee. Oh, damn it. The worst actor ever. Maybe Jeez, Taurus, can't you see some of us have to work for a living? <laughs> what? Did I do something? Don't mind her. She always gets cranky when looking for a photo op. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? Oh, not really. Zell just likes to get like this sometimes. I just got a little lost. I don't even know how I ended up on the beach. Well, that's a beach? Yeah. Oh, I, didn't, I couldn't tell. I could. I might be able to point you in the right direction. You got a name? I'm Maggie. Cute. <laughs> My name's Patricia, but you can call me Pat or Patty. If you call me Patches, though, I'll tear your arms off. Oh Yikes. my, that's a threat. Capiche? <laughs> what are you, Italian? Maybe. That's what my grandmother used to always say. Capiche? Gotcha. I'm just yanking your chain, Maggie. <laughs> Was that a country voice? Are you country Frankenstein? I guess so. So, Pat, can you pull me to town hall? Ah, oh, you're on the wrong side of town for that. That's way out east by the train station. Oh, we walked right by it. Oh, okay, I just came from there. Yeah, you told me to go west. I had a feeling it was east. Mmm. <laughs> Patches, I think I found the spot. I have so many more characters than you do. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I can start taking some new characters. How about that? I wish she wouldn't call me that. We can't change, can't change <laughs> voices mid-character. <laughs> it was nice meeting you, Maggie. I gotta catch up to Miss Pris up there. It's gonna be a long week of shooting here. 
Thank you for the directions. Now I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> okay, so it's by the train station, which is... So they said east, east, right? This way. This music's lovely. Right, so I'm here to speak with whoever sent this letter. Oh, that's going to be... Oh, I'm so sorry. They currently appear to be in a meeting. She's very a very kawaii ghost. Very. They may actually be a while. I can let them know you stopped by if you wanted to explore the town a bit more. Let's explore. Uh, explore the town or yeah. wait with the pretty receptionist? Well, let's explore the town. All right. Okay, I think I will. Let's go this way. South. South? Okay. This way. Well, there's the hotel. I don't see any signs of Ash. Hotel Babe? Is that what that says? I think that is what it says, Hotel Babe. <laughs> she could have gotten lost, could she? You look a little lost yourself. Ah! <laughs> Waiting for somebody? Uh, I don't think... I mean, no. It's okay. No shame in being stood up. Probably just some cave troll catfish who lost their nerve. <laughs> I'm not... Here, how about... I'm grabbing some lunch with some friends at the restaurant by the hotel. Why don't you come join us, Miss Witch? My name is Maggie. Call me Niall. Oh, she's like a mummy. Yeah. I guess, yeah, that makes sense. Niall, yeah, it makes sense. Niall. How'd you know I was a witch? Ancient mummy magic. Real ancient stuff. There was a Buffy episode with, it, with a mummy like this. Really? Yes. Plus, the basic witch pin on your bag is a good indicator. Eh, she's just observant. Oh. Damn it, Ash. So I noticed that you didn't say no to a brunch date. Oh, uh... Unless you wanted to keep waiting for this. Ash hole? What's it? <laughs> <laughs> I guess Ash is a gender neutral name. Yeah, but, uh... I don't know, she's not too keen on Ash, I suppose. No, Ash is my familiar. Ah. And they were roommates. That's a joke. It's not like that. I'm actually looking for Town Hall. I already was there. I'm here on business like I turned around at the train station. You should have just said so. Town Hall's just west... Wait, no it's not. I thought we were at the Town Hall already. Town we Hall were. is just west east. of the train station. But we went west and those were else, that was the beach. Uh... She's lying. Oh no. Liar. I'm surprised that you missed it, actually. I'm a terrible navigator. Well, I would take you there myself, but I have a brunch reservation with some friends. Wow. How about we rain check on that date? Oh, uh. Great, I'm staying at the hotel for a week. So just ask for the for me at the reception. At reception. Later, witchy. Oh man, I could should have put my glasses on before we were going <laughs> no. on this reading. Are you struggling? <laughs> struggling a little. It is kind of hard to read, I will say. Thank you. I guess. Okay, so it's by the train station. Well, we already did that. Weren't we just at Town Hall? Guess we go north. Yeah, we can't, I can't even go the other direction yeah, right now. Yeah, this way. One of these buildings has to be Town Hall, right? Maybe I'll just pop in and ask for directions. This stupid phone doesn't want to work right anyway. Let's see. A flower shop, a bookstore, a pie-in-the-sky bakery. Batwing Beats? Is that like the record store? Probably. I've been meaning to add some variety to my vinyl. Oh, she's super cool and hip. So hip. I guess that's as good a place to ask as any. Hello? Rock and roll. Well, I might as well look around while I'm in here. I wonder what kind of music other mystics listen to. I wonder if they have anything by FOG, Fog? Hmm. Oh. Well, you seem to be making yourself at home here. I keep forgetting that y'all don't need to be invited in. Ha, she's a vampire. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know anybody else was in. Where are you? Oh. <laughs> Goth anime vampire girl? Okay. Yeah, for sure. No worries, it happens. Whoa. Call me Susie. I'm Maggie. I'm sorry, I didn't see you up there. It's the coziest spot to nap. Can I help you find anything? Just looking around. That's how. That's my immediate answer anytime someone asks me if I need something in a retail just store. Just panic. Like, leave me alone, I'm just looking. 
Can't say I've ever been to a Mystic Record Shop. Look how loose she is. She is. She doesn't care. She's too cool. She's too cool for all of us. Well, you come to the best one right off the bat. Ha. Ha. <laughs> bat. Sorry to say, none of the others are even half as cool as mine. Have any recommendations? Well, do you like banjo? <laughs> hmm. That's not what I expected. Uh, there's this one guy I've been really into lately, a manticore named Patty Davies Maine. His debut tape was all doom folk. <gasps> what? <laughs> Full of auto harp and fuzz and flugelhorn, and he made it to fund his debut live show. I would bet money that you did not pronounce that right. The flugelhorn? <laughs> I don't know. You're probably right. Looks like flugelhorn. We'll Google it later. Oh, is he any good? Fortunately, Maine abandoned the interesting parts of his sound. His weird instruments and low droning guitars started playing the banjo. <laughs> A stylistic uh, departure. Yes. Really badly. And paired with a game beast, making a chip folk blend that doesn't work in the... What? What are these words? <laughs> like, I feel like I listen to a lot of different music, and I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I mean, it's a, a mystical being playing music. Chances are good it's not a real genre. <laughs> I suppose that's <laughs> true. Uh, worst part is you get the signature off-key yell singing, but it's not charming when he's not dooming. <laughs> Uh, I feel like half her dialogue is just, uh. <laughs> Sorry, I just think exciting people show interest in deep cuts. It sounds neat. I guess I can give it a listen. I'll put you down for a copy. Do you want to start a tab or do you want to just close out? What? Tabs at record stores? Oh, is that a thing? No. Huh. Not as far as I know. I don't really collect Well, vinyl. they're in Canada. Maybe it's different there. <laughs> Canada is a mystical land. <gasps> a tab for a record shop? Oh, um, yes, due at the end of the month. Aren't you worried about people skipping out? No, I'm pretty good tracker. We accept all forms of payment, including blood. Ooh. <laughs> if you don't pay your tab, I'll kill you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I... You seem trustworthy, though. I'm sure I won't have to come to that. I'd actually just like to pay now. Don't be ridiculous. I've already gone through the trouble of signing you up. And you get a com complimentary bonus add-on for your, our loyalty program. I love a good loyalty program. You like a little punch card or something? Yeah, we would love it. Uh, thank you? No problem at all. Oh, I'm excited. I just know you're going to love all the recommendations I put on here. She just signed you up for like 50 records. Yeah. <laughs> this is some uh, shady business practice, if you ask me. Can I just ask you where Town Hall? We already know this. I guess, well, I mean, this is like an alpha demo, so maybe not everything's... Uh... Well, I mean, it's probably so you can meet all the characters and yeah. see the whole town. We've seen a few different backgrounds now. True, true, true. Town Hall, let's see. I think it's by the train station? Okay. So it's back where I came from. <laughs> I'll be seeing you. I think some sludge girls would do just fine. That sounds like a uh, riot girl band from the 90s yeah, or something. Yeah, for sure. It's right up your alley. <laughs> I guess I need to go. I haven't eaten anything, anything since I got here. Food is good. To the bakery. Might be one more character to meet. Howdy, and welcome to Pie in the Sky. Hiya. My name, wait, do you want to take this character or should I keep going? You should keep going. I want you to play the little fox lady. I think she's a werewolf. Ah, My that name's makes Madeline. Sense. What can I get you today, sweetie? I'll have a. Uh, I recommend the lichen lemon. Yeah, lichen. Mm -hmm. Lichen lemon bar. It's just baked and fresh. Sure, I'll take one. Hot day like this, you must be thirsty. Have a rose water on the house. Oh, that sounds lovely. Thank you so much. Don't even mention it. What brings you into town, stranger? I don't know why I just dipped into like a <laughs> southwestern accent there. I have some business at Town Hall. Town Hall? Why, that's the way you came from, sugar. Is she southern? I Is think she that's a southern maybe the implication. Werewolf? My stupid phone has been acting up all day. Pay it no mind. I'll point you in the right direction. You just take a load off here and kick your feet up as long as you'd like. Thank you so much. Are all Mr. Here so friendly? There's some troublemakers here and there, but I think you'll find a kind face wherever you look. Oh, troublemakers. Well, that's comforting. Always keep your head on straight, though. Those few bad apples are a doozy. And a pretty young girl like you makes for easy pickings. Oh! I think I can handle myself. Yeah, she's a witch. She can handle it. I haven't been in a situation that my potions could get me out of. Oh my, a little witch. 
Aren't you just darling? <laughs> I might have to come up to you when my back starts acting up. What? Potions. Oh. <laughs> well, one She's not a chiropractor, too. I don't know. I don't know what the situation there. Uh, one moment, sugar. Howdy, and welcome to... I'm here for pleasantries. I heard some no good varmints been setting up shop in this here coast of town and claimed she got the best cow pies in the world. Everyone knows those come out of Texas. We're in Canada, sir. <laughs> uh, they're called haystacks. As far as I'm concerned, the only two things that come out of Texas are steers and queers. Oh. Okay. I see the horns, but what are your pronouns? I don't mean to offend. Madeline, you old mutt. How, you, how have you been? Marcy, it's been years. It's Marshall now, actually. Marshall, now that's a good, strong name. Oh, how rude of me, Marshall. This is... Oh, I don't think I caught your name, sugar. I'm Maggie. Pleased to meet you, Marshall. You're both new to town. Oh, no, it's so late already. I, I don't mean to be rude, Marshall, but I promised Maggie here that I'd take her to town hall. Oh, don't worry. I think I can find my way. Can you? <laughs> yeah, so far, uh, it seems to be you cannot. Also, can I drop a cow fact? Ah, uh, yes, by all means. Horns are not a gender thing for cows. It is a breed thing. Really? Yeah. I always thought, yeah, I don't know. I guess I didn't have any idea. Nope. Both genders can have horns. Very well. The more you know. There's your cow fact for the day. Are you sure, sugar? Of course. It's just east of the train station, so that means it's this way. Yay. Y'all come back now. Sugar. You gotta have the sugar. <laughs> Alright, East, here we go. Yay. That way. Alright, so I'm here to speak with whoever sent this letter. Oh, that's going to be. I'm so sorry, oh. they currently appear to be in a meeting. They may actually be a while. I can let them stop by if you want to explore the town a bit. I thought we already did this. Mm hmm. It's okay, I wouldn't want to miss them. Are you sure? I guess we'll just have to wait. Most people wouldn't want to hang out with the ghost. I really don't mind. You make good company. Oh, I, uh... I'm just going to do some work over here. That's all right. Oh, she's shy. Four hours later. <laughs> I think the mayor is ready for you now. She fell asleep standing up. That's impressive. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, th thanks. Ooh. Hello? I was told I'd be meeting with somebody here on the request of Astrid M You, go. Yes, close the door behind you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Please turn the light on. I apologize. I just work best in the dark. Oh, yeah, just let me, uh... Oh. Oh. That voice doesn't fit. Isn't that our mom? I My, so. how you've grown into a fine young woman. Mom? Mom's the mayor? Plot <laughs> twist. How are you doing, Kiki? It's been far too long. I thought my name was Maggie. I don't know. Kiki maybe is a nickname. I, uh, don't call me that. Kiki, but you still love that move. Maybe I used to, but things changed when you disappeared for a few years, Kiki's Astrid. Kiki's delivery service. Oh. Cute. That makes sense, because she's a witch. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I see what you guys are doing there. Don't you use that tone with me, Maggie. I know you must be upset, but I am still your mother. This is very weird. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, yeah, mother of the year. Oh, no. Hostility. Oh, that was like more like a, oh, yeah, mother of the year. That was sass, for sure. Extra points for abandoning her half-witch daughter with her ex-deadbeat dad. Oh, plot twist! Silence. I can explain why I had to leave, but I can assure you that it wasn't by choice. Oh, no. I don't want to hear any excuses, Ma. <laughs> I've, like, become more and more like Valley Girl as we're going. For sure. I'm... Uh, quiet, quiesis is like a spell. Magic missile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a word I can't pronounce. Huh? Ah! Magistra, I... I'm sorry, Maggie. I just need to get a word in edgewise. Oh, she did silence me. Yeah. Please, will you just let me explain why I summoned you all this way? 
Zeperium Z. Imperium Z. Imperium Z. I'll let you explain that and then I'm out of here. Kiki, please. You're gonna stop calling me that stupid nickname, too. Alright then. Maggie, I summoned you here to discuss an employment opportunity for you. Is she old enough for a job? <laughs> I don't know. You brought me all this way for a job offer? In short, yes. Hard pass. I'll see you on Halloween. You said you would let me explain. You wouldn't be under my employ. In fact, you'd be somewhat of an entrepreneur. <laughs> I'm listening. I was planning on establishing it myself, but then the town approached me with an offer of civic duty that I could not decline. Oh, you poor wretched thing. You should have seen this town before I was brought in. Key. Maggie. There were mystics on top of mystics, and all because of some stupid bigoted territorial notion that made everyone wary of their own neighbors. I wasn't able to establish the shop itself, but the groundwork is all set for you to take over. Oh, is that all? Oh, I was confused why she's like speaking for her for a second. Uh, uh, no, she's like mocking her mom. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah mocking, Maggie, mocking. please. That's what I'm thinking of. Maggie, darling, could you please up your entire life and come live in my town and risk your life savings on a potion shop? The local government has agreed to buy terms of financial assistance for the first three months of a probationary period. There was a town-wide fundraiser to help offset the cost of materials, rent, and amenities. There's even an apartment above the shop that comes with the land. Whether you would rent it out or inhabit it yourself is your own choice. So the town's just giving me a shop and home? That's a pretty sick deal. This seems too good to be true. What's the catch? There is no catch other than the fact that you'll be facing a higher than normal volume than you're used to due to the number of mystics in the area. When I heard that you'd be con contracted contracted a familiar, I knew that it wouldn't be too much to handle for a two-person team, though. You think Ash would be on board for a day job? I assure you that you'll be earning enough to pay a suitable wage. A familiar requesting compensation other than magic other than magical is still a new concept for me, but I believe my math is right. Might have asked why this town's so eager to just kickstart a brand new business out of the goodness of their hearts. It's born out of necessity. I'm sure that you know that mystics require assistance beyond which is available among conventional pharmaceuticals. I filled that role myself until I was needed for civil service and now I and the town would like to ask if you would be interested in inheriting the mail. You're really it's struggling. It's really hard to read for me, yeah. I've observed what you and Ash are capable of. With full access to my notes and the town's outpouring of support and your own magical talent, it's the perfect opportunity, Kiki. Uh. Sorry. It's the perfect opportunity, Maggie. What about Dad? I'm sure he just as quickly approved of me running a drug lab. Yes, and I anticipated that he would be a hindrance to my proposal. I cannot control how you decide or how he reacts. Not for lack of trying. I merely ask that you consider it. I think. Ah. And that was it. We don't get to make our decision yet. That's for the No, program. and I guess you won't until you guys check out yourself and hopefully mm -hmm. check out the Kickstarter as well. Yep. Once again, link down in the description. Uh, I thought that was pretty fun. Yeah, it was cute. Art was cute. Mm -hmm. Got to meet a bunch of fun little characters, so that was nice for a demo. Get to meet your whole cast, your whole crew. Yeah, great. Good stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah.